So good morning then and welcome back to Thought for the Day. Today we're going to be looking at Joshua chapter 2 and we're looking most particularly at verses 15 through to 24. But as always before we do that we're going to be we're going to come to the Lord in prayer and ask for his help um, that he might open up his word for us. Let's pray. Loving Father as we come to you this morning we thank you that we can come to the God who knows all things. We thank you that the God uh, who has given us this wonderful uh, book that we might um, know you better and so we pray that as we come to it that we'd come and that you'd open the eyes of our understanding and that you'd speak to us via your spirit that we might understand fully uh, how we might uh, apply these words to our lives and we ask it for Jesus sake. Amen. So let me read uh, Joshua chapter 2 and uh, verses 15 through to 24. So she let them down by a rope through the window, for the house that she lived in was part of the city wall. Now she had said to them, Go to the hills, so that uh, the pursuers will not find you. Hide yourselves there three days until they return, and then go on your way. The men said to her, This oath that you made us swear will not be binding on us, unless when we enter the land you have tied this scarlet cord in the window through which you have let us down. And unless you have brought your father and mother and your brother and all your family into your house. And if anyone goes outside your house into the street, his blood will be on his own head. And we will not be responsible. As for anyone who is in the house with you, his blood will be on our head if a hand is laid on him. But if you tell uh, what we were doing, we will be released from the oath you made us swear. Agreed, she replied. Let it be as you say. So she sent them away, and they departed. And she tied the scarlet cord in the window. And when they left, they went into the hills and stayed there for three days, until the pursuers had searched all along the road and returned without finding them. And then the two men started back. They went down out of the hills, forded the river, and came to Joshua, son of Nun, and told him everything that had happened to them. And they said to Joshua, that The Lord has surely given the whole land into our hands. And all the people are melting in fear because of us. So as we come to these verses uh, before us, Rahab has just sent the spies that have been that she's been protect, protecting into the hills to avoid being caught. Now, why is she protecting the enemy? Well, because as you saw yesterday, uh, she had come to realise that there are only two choices when facing the Lord, the God of the Israelites. Choose to submit or, or face destruction well before Rahab actually sends the spies away she comes to an agreement with them they will rescue her and her household as long as they stay in the house and have the scarlet cord in the window well it's a picture of the gospel right here unless Rahab shelters under the scarlet cord uh, she cannot be saved and unless we shelter under the blood of Jesus Christ we too cannot be saved uh, the choice is shelter and be saved or ignore the warning and face destruction. Or more than that, Rahab is told that she can save as many as her family uh, as she can fit in her house. If they listen to her and shelter with her, they too will be rescued. In, in Rahab's shoes, uh, we would have become the best evangelists going, wouldn't we? Uh, limited time, a uh, need to get directly to the point, a uh, need to be uh, circumspect in delivering the message would have all... Uh, meant that all who listened to her could not fail to understand the gravity of their choice. Now sadly we all too often do not feel the urgency of the hour when it comes to sharing the good news uh, that Jesus died to save us from the destruction to come. Instead we go for the long drawn out approach and wonder why no one takes us seriously. And now reading the text uh, one or two things stand out uh, and uh, just hearing that uh, these two spies declare that uh, anyone who shelters in the house, um, their blood will be to put to their account. Uh, Remind us again of the gospel, the wonderful truth that um, if we listen to the gospel, then our safety is dependent upon the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one who has guaranteed our safety. Um, yet if we go outside of the protection, if we do not trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, then our own blood is on our own head. So there's a beautiful picture there as well. Um, but not only that, um, we see, um, or one of the other things I love about this account is the fact that as soon as the men go, Rahab um, 
takes no chances. The cord is tied in the window straight away. Uh, this is not something to be put off for another day or to be fo forgotten about. Uh, no, this is way too serious. She can't risk, as it were, the events of the destruction of Jericho overtaking her and her not having tied that cord in the window. If only we could get people, um, at times even our own family, our own children, to understand that sheltering in Christ is not something to put off or to be uh, forgotten about. It's too serious to be left uh, to a maybe or, or to be um, uh, put aside for a rainy day uh, and then completely forgotten. We praise the Lord that conviction work is his though uh, and uh, we trust as we earnestly preach that Jesus Christ and preach him crucified then um, he will do the saving. The other thing I love about this account is that it takes a pagan prostitute um, it takes a pagan prostitute's basic understanding of God to move the two spies to believe that God would give them uh, the land. All these Israelites have lived with the many victories along the way and, and still aren't sure that God will uh, keep his promise. One Canaanite woman hears the reports of God's great power in granting those victories. She hasn't foreseen the victories, nor has she had any experience of them. Uh, but she knows simply through hearing um, simply through the reports that God will give the victory. Uh, oh, that we would see with the eyes of faith and step out, uh, secure in the knowledge that uh, by God's strength we will overcome and we will see victory. Victory over sin, uh, over the attacks of the enemy, over the strongholds of evil that we discover in our lives day after day. Victory in gospel endeavours and in the souls of those that we are seeking to win for Jesus. So just a very short few verses, uh, but a glorious picture of the gospel and how when we trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we too will be rescued. And not because of anything that we have done, um, but because of, of his goodness, because of, the, of him honouring his word. Let's pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this. We pray that as we have thought about these things, we ask, Lord, that we might be those that get excited about the gospel, wish to tell our family and friends all about the Lord Jesus Christ. And, Lord, may we understand something of the urgency of the hour. Uh, may we be those that realise that we need to tell our family and friends. And, Lord, if anyone's listening to this who does not know you, has not yet accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their Saviour, Father, I pray, Lord, that you would bring them under conviction of sin. I ask, Lord, that you would move them to repent of that sin and, and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ uh, for his forgiveness. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>